to 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. In the escalating trade tensions between Canada and China in the dispute regarding the arrest, subsequent bail, and possible extradition of the executive from Huawei, China threatening grave consequences potentially on the trade front if Meng Wanzhou is not released by the Canadian officials. China could hit us on trade, as we do about $21 billion a year in trade with China. Our exports have been going up recently, and one of the biggest exports currently is canola. China is the biggest buyer of Canadian canola products, followed by other agribusiness commodities, wheat and soybeans, even softwood lumber. There is a risk here that that would be the first thing that they would target, as they did recently with the escalating trade dispute with the United States. Now, Canadian companies have also been uh, affected by uh, ratcheted up rhetoric out of China. That boycott call by state-run social media against Canada Goose has seen the stock price of the luxury goods retailer down in six of the past seven trading days, down by about 18% over that time frame. Lululemon has 17 locations in China. They say they have not yet seen any implications from the Canada-China issues. And we've got Bombardier just this morning announcing a deal for its joint venture operations in China to build trains for a high-speed rail network. Bombardier has its own domestic issues, losing a contract opportunity with Via Rail, but doing more business in the United States with the New Jersey Transit Authority. Another sign of potentially a slowdown in Toronto's real estate market. As Stats Canada reported today that new home prices fell the most in almost two decades year over year in November. Prices for newly built homes fell by one and a half percent. Now this is interesting because most recently we've been hearing about a, a shortage of supply of new, con newly constructed homes in the GTA. What's happened though is the market is adjusting to this year's increase in mortgage rates and new rules in the mortgage market. Is Canada heading for a consumer debt crisis? Citigroup putting out that warning today, saying that because of the highly leveraged Canadian consumer in the midst of previously low interest rates, well, we've taken out a lot of money on the credit cards, and if interest rates continue to climb, that could be a problem, not immediately, but over a three-year time frame. Citigroup also putting out red flags regarding debt loads in Nordic nations, in South Korea, Singapore, Japan. Interestingly, China and the U.S. are not on its list. The U.S. consumers specifically went through their own debt crisis in the subprime mortgage meltdown in 2008-2009. And Apple is betting big on Texas. Apple is putting a billion dollars into a new campus in Austin, Texas. They're going to create about 5,000 jobs there as part of a, an increased focus on U.S. job growth for Apple, targeting upwards of 25,000 jobs across the country over the next several years. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.